What's a dead giveaway that someone is insecure, when they say and describe how much they love themselves? During school, we had to write and perform a poetry slam. I think time was between 3 to 5 minutes, we could write about everything. One girl wrote about how much she's worth and loved herself. I never hear someone talking about how much they love themselves. Still, all I could think was, girl, you need therapy. You obviously don't mean anything you say, and all my friends felt the same. Also, she performed for 10 minutes which made it worse for everyone. Just happened to me, a coworker was eating instead of setting up the restaurant 10 minutes before open. I asked him, in front of a group of other co-workers, if he knew the restaurant opened in 10 minutes he proceeded to pull me aside after opening work was done, mind you 5 minutes late, and asked if I had a problem with him and to leave my personal shit at home. Like bruh I just wanted to make sure we were opening on time, I'm not trying to embarrass you in front of your co-workers relax. Normally what they criticize people the most about, is what they're either scared of, feel like they are or wish they could be. Projection. E.g. A fat shamer does not equal feels like they are the ones that are in fact fat. Untrusting, constantly accusing someone of cheating does not equal they're secretly cheating and deflect so they don't get caught. Bullying someone that is different, physically or personality wise. Same thing with sexuality. At the end of day, we're all mirrors of each other. That they have to ask or always lead with a presumed positive trait. Like dudes who think they know what an alpha male is, or even care. Guys that get upset when a woman breathes wrong. Other suspects are the following. Gamers. Tactical people that think the Second Amendment puts them on par with the federal government. Anime fans. People that post on Reddit, especially work-related or poverty subreddits. People who self-label as introvert, they can get fucked. You, when they refuse to talk about something everyone knows they're awesome at, just cause they know of one person who's better. I had a really good friend like that and he would hate talking about it, until one day he sent me a voice message saying he felt like he was a failure at life cause he see LD and he do the thing he put his heart into well enough. Has some mental rehab, thankfully, but it's scary what insecurity can do. Alpha guys, crying face, they get so easily offended if you try to say anything to them. Every single one of them, even the popular ones, Tate, Sneeko etc. criticizing people's looks or the way they dress, or gossiping. I get that gossiping is way more common and a lot of people wouldn't consider it a sign of insecurity but the idea of someone spreading someone's downs is pretty may just mind your own business. Using words like gay or virgin as insults, also stuff like you are fat or you have a small dick. The way I see it, people use insults that they would personally be offended by. So if you use any of the aforementioned insults on someone, that just tells me those insults would work perfectly on you. Afraid of people thinking you're gay or a virgin, for example. Insecure about your own body, etc. Putting other people down, being passive aggressive, being a macho manly man, and also also being negative against women. It's quite funny since women will often love the most insecure men. Bad boys are the most insecure men out there, for example, but they act confident, but they are almost always incredibly jealous and controlling, and women don't understand that. That means they are insecure. They dress up, do their hair, get their eyebrows done have a full face of makeup the same amount that they would wear to a wedding then they go to the gym to take selfies and post it on social media. And at the gym, they don't work out, but they walk around slowly and athleisure at higher with their headphones on, and they look around to see who's looking at them. There was one streamer a few months ago, forgot his name but he was pretty much a cuck. He made an apology saying how he isn't actually a cuck and that everyone should give it a try, he keeps repeating the phrase that it's okay. Obviously the fact that he kept repeating the narrative that it's not wrong and that how he's not a cuck makes him seem a lot more insecure. Insults others around them, another guy in my company interrupted a conversation I was having with somebody about my newest tattoo with the words yeah why did you get a vagina on the back of your neck. Nobody laughed, I ignored it and two days later he was trying to be my best friend, smiley face. You made your bed chief, enjoy being the dickhead amongst us now. Terrible decision making. Self-destructive tendencies manifesting in addictive behaviors. Playing a scapegoat constantly to solicit sympathy affirmation. Accountability in name only to perpetuate this cycle because none of it is reflected in substantial behavior changes. Using people for their energies and only having transactional relationships. Overactive on social media specifically and sharing mundane photos and stories of themselves constantly. 
and you know who I'm talking about this isn't about the people who just make like one post a day or whatever for their little group of followers I'm talking about the people whose entire personalities are social media and showing off on it. People that never take any selfies and only have photos others have taken of them like 8 years ago. Self-deprecating humor to an extreme and uncomfortable extent. Being envious and jealous of people for weird reasons, not being able to give compliments or admit others are better than you at hex. Y or Z. Constantly telling stories about things someone else isn't proud of right in front of their face while others laugh in the background. I am a victim of this. School camping trip. Went and found a stick, named it Henry and he became my best friend while I sat on a bench and assessed the situation. They monologue about themselves in a bragging kind of way, then look at you for okay I agree. Or more subtly they might use pseudo humility as a way to fish for compliments. They might be self-deprecating at first then expect you to disagree with them as a way of seeking validation. Constantly bad-mouthing others with lies to make them look bad, or putting down demonizing others' successes or good qualities. Usually ends with copying said qualities on them and they're actually me. Don't get it twisted, trust me. I'm great and you should avoid them. Never has anything to say that isn't just talking mad shit and putting others down. No funny stories no talk of hobbies or movies or anything interesting or talk about themselves. I have so many co-workers like this and it's just awful to be around them. Inability to take accountability for one's actions is a major sign of insecurity. Folks who always deflect blame and try vehemently to exonerate themselves even with the situation is seemingly insignificant are some of the most insecure people around. Oversharing. Overexplaining. Picking at fingers cuticles. Making excuses for others' bad behaviors. Letting people walk all over them. Over-apologizing. People-pleasing. Doubting second-guessing themselves. Having self-limiting beliefs. Away. Is voluntarily telling you they make six figures make them insecure? I'd give he was trying to impress me or what? I just said with a slow will. Not like damn that's a lot of money. Like I was seriously asking in my mind is he bragging? They'll assume the worst about most things and try to describe intent when there isn't any. For example, co-workers laughing about something in the background? Must be about them. Insecure people are often the most self-centered. Wearing sunglasses when it isn't sunny. Hiding face with a big fringe. I'm not insecure as a whole but I've done the sunglasses thing when I felt like I looked shit and didn't want people to see me without makeup etc. Trying to tell impressive stories all the time. So many amazing and or terrible things have happened to them, and they're somehow always way worse or way more dramatic than whatever it was you were just talking about. Putting down your own kids. It's one thing if it's a tongue-in-cheek part of your culture. It's something totally different if you interject your past accomplishments into a discussion about your child succeeding. When people try to confine others into expectations. For example, kids telling their parents how to act around their friends and people hushing their partners in conversation if they act too much like themselves. Questioning and second-guessing themselves when they make a purchase, even something as simple as Subway or Starbucks. Learning how far a dollar goes at a young age makes you question spending any money at all. I feel like it's quite obvious that I'm insecure about myself. I constantly wear a hoodie no matter what the weather is. I have been cooking the past few days but I always have a hoodie on to cover myself. They tell other people how smart they are. If you have to tell other people you're smart, what you scored on your standardized tests, what your GPA was, etc. You're probably not that smart. Being insecure isn't always about bragging. I'm very skinny with no muscles mass. You can see the veins in my arms. I'm very insecure about my weight. I'd give anything to put on muscle. Always having to start fights. There's this girl that tries to start it with me, and her only reason is I had a fight with her sister 7 years, when I was 12 sister was 11. People who keep putting down others, especially for a specific trait. For example, People who body shame others using shorter fat as an insult for example have something going on. Calling themselves alpha all the time. A true leader some to look up to not even going to say alpha because it sounds childish doesn't have to proclaim it. People just recognize it. How they react to someone buying them food. In my experience, a person from poverty would cherish that person and be forever grateful, while a richer person wouldn't see it as much. Trying to control everything their partner does in a relationship and putting unreasonable restrictions on who they can speak to, hang out with, or interact with on social media. Does not accepting criticism count? For example, my sister just goes around criticizing everyone and everything but whenever someone criticizes her, 
She gets very angry upset, constantly adjusting their clothing like pulling down or straightening out their tops. I would know. I do that all the time and I have to consciously force myself to resist. Super tough work and take a joke. Extremely homophobic PPL make me feel like they are missing something I'd kiff it counts as insecure though sometimes they just are hating shitbags. Claims of extraordinary greatness. Those who are extraordinary and secure don't need to say it out loud. Also true of wealth, never apologizing. Some people will twist the story, change the way it happened and retell it so convincingly that they'll believe their own nonsense but will never apologize. Qualifying advice suggestions with something like just throwing an idea out there. But maybe we could forex or not saying we have to. But how does everyone feel about forex? Trying to hide hair loss, the comb over, wigs etc. And now we have SMP which is thousands of dots just tattooed on the head so it looks like they have all very tragic. Never apologizing. Some people will twist the story, change the way it happened and retell it so convincingly that they'll believe their own nonsense but will never apologize. Barging into other people's conversations. You and someone else are talking about something but they have to barge into the conversation and try and take it over. Some signs of insecurity. Constantly gossips. Extremely defensive. Easily gets attached. Validation seeking. Always apologizing. Always criticizing others. Making yourself smaller. Trying to disappear into the background. It's normally BC speaking from personal experience I wouldn't want to be noticed or talked to. Constantly criticizing everyone around him. If you're content with yourself, you're not looking to make others feel bad about who they are and what they have. Viewing someone disagreeing with them as someone hating them or being mad at them. People can just have a different opinion. It has nothing to do with you.